and Dennis Gennetti. Tonight we're coming to you from Monica Roval. Half the seats are filled. I think that's as good as it's going to get. I'm joined by my accomplice in primetime, Matthew Richardson. Thanks, Dennis. Expecting something very special here tonight. Tosses the coin. The Giants winning the toss. I can't wait for this match to get underway. I've had sleepless nights dreaming about this clash. Here we go, Richard. The opening corner. Don't practice until you get it right. Practice until you can't get it wrong. Simpson didn't even get close to that tap. Ruffhead gets a nice bump from Green. Roberts is streaming past and gets the footy. Puts the head down as he runs in. Handballs from the tackle. Hits the running man. Now oh, that's just giving the ball away. Biggin on the ball at the moment. That's put to ball. Dances around the boundary line. Hits the running man. He's taken the ball over the line. The ball is coming back into play. Rough hit with the hit. Liberatore clearly doesn't get enough attention. Simpson manages to get the handball out of the pack. Kicks it. A mark by Smith. Distance could be the problem. The ball is stuck towards goal by Smith. Tantalizing the close. The Giants by a point. Morris. He's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Mark will be paid. Cameron taking aim. Cameron with the shot. The ball's travelling and the ball crosses over the boundary. The ball crosses the line. Out on the full. Green lining up. Tantalising the close. The Giants by two points. He'll be looking to spot the player on the burst. Wood catches it. Trims the grass with that one. Biggin marks it. He decides to play on. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. Pontempelli passes to no one in particular. He scoops the ball off the ground. Gets a handball away. He grabs it on the run. Chips it down towards half forward. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Delivio with the running catch. Johannesson with the kick. A good mark under the circumstances. String it going for distance. Solid catch. Cranry might struggle for this distance. He's kicking from a 45-degree angle. Kicks to the attacking 50. He scoops the ball off the ground. A short handball. Cordy just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. Bontempelli plays it off by hand. Dalhouse now with a chance to grab the lead for his side. 
the first goal by Dalhouse. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Umpire bounces the ball. Ruffin with the tap. Green onto the ball. He lays off the pass. Puts the head down as he runs in. Sends it home with a mighty kick. Cameron sinking his first goal. Boy, did they ever need that. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. And there's the bounce. Simpson tanks. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alleyway. It's a ball up. Ruffhead wins the tap. Terrible timing by Simpson. The ball mopped up. The ball is on the ground and it's picked up by Green. Takes possession. He gets his hands on the footy. Hits the running man. A lot of possessions for him. Slips the handball to Dalhouse. Gets boot to leather. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. 50 metres out. Almost in the bag from this position, you would think. Cordy holds his breath like David Blaine as he watches this one. Smith going for number one. The Western Bulldogs goes back into the lead. Smith has a nose for goals. You wouldn't want to bet against him even on the tightest of angles. Tapped by Simpson. Whitfield has the ball. He's got the football now. Bontem Pelly intercepts it. He's been oh, seized he's with the ball that's going to be holding it. Simpson puts it on the boot. Cameron presents and takes the mark. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. Nice kick. The Giants goes back in front. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. There's the bounce. Palms it down nicely. The ball in the hands of Dalhouse. Gains possession. He just can't get out of the action. Handballs from the tackle. Puts the head down as he runs in. Cordy tries his luck with a shot at goal. The lead is easily in reach for the Western Bulldogs. Four told me recently that he really loves playing for this club and you can really see it in his attitude on the field. I think he's going to play for this club for a long, long time. He gets it under pressure. Shield puts his boot on it. He wins the contested mark. Bonton Pelly with handball. Ruckhead intercepts it. Green intercepts it. Simpson gets the footy. Gets it away in the nick of time. Steady hands there as he holds that one. It's showed the post. Greater Western Sydney by two points. Morris has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Strong mark by Whitfield. Gets boot to leather. The spilled ball is collected. He lays it on the boot for a giant kick. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Stringer is a decent mark, although he really needs to work on his marking contests because he just isn't making an impression there. He spills the ball. Hand passes to the running man. He runs for the goal. He kicks it. Well, you can't believe it. He's missed the lot. And the ball goes over the boundary line. Close to goal. He gives the ball a mighty roost. Biggin wins the marking contest. Kicks it. And that's the end of the first turn. The Giants, 15, took the Bulldogs, 13. The Giants should be happy with their lead, Dennis. They came out focused and committed to a very good game plan. Richo, your thoughts on the first quarter? They have been pretty wasteful in this match, and if they lose, they will look back and rue the missed opportunities. Time to check the stats, Richo. Not a lot of difference in the tackling stats. The Western Bulldogs were slightly ahead with 7 to 4. The Western Bulldogs with 16 kicks and the Giants with 13 kicks. Not much in it. Uh, that's a unique spin on things, Richard. A quick break and we're back at it. There are only two options regarding commitment. You're either in or out. There is no such thing as footy in between. The ball in the hands of Cordy. Smith slams one on the boot for goal. To be generous, you'd say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. The Bulldogs is down by less than a kick. Looks like he's going to go long.
short, enjoying a height advantage. Kicks it. Hunter runs past and gets the ball. He gathers the loose ball. The loose ball picked out. Dalhouse with the ball. Superb handball. Liberatore has his head down now. Short with the football. He has the ball. Ruffett gets the ball. Lovely hand pass. Hits the man. Coniglio sends the ball on its way. Opportunity now for Cameron. So close, but just to behind. The Giants by two points. There could be a short option here. Nice contested mark by Fitton. Boots it. Great mark under pressure. Green picks it. Cameron gives the ball to the man on the run. He's had lots of touches this match. He gains possession. Is in his possession. Sweeping handball. Able to grab it on the half volley. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Wood plays it off by hand. A little chip kick comes from Bronton Pelly. Shield has such a strong core that he's become almost impossible to bring down. He clears the ball. He lays off the pass. Dalhouse boots it. Wilson takes the mark. He slams that on the boot. Shield with the mark. He boots it. He grabs it. Kicks it. Great mark under pressure. Bigan threading the needle right there. She's running hot, Richo. Yep, Dennis, he's a class act. Good mark by Cool. Four takes a lot of marks during a game, but a lot of them seem to be juggled. If he can just get cleaner hands on the ball, it's just going to give his opponents less chance to spoil in the contest. Puts boot to ball. Green having no trouble taking that one. Johnson has the football. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Is in his possession. Roberts gets it out of the crowd. Dalhouse marks it. He gains possession. Liberatore again, Richard. Yes, super work from him in this match, Dennis. He's missed. Is that a brave attempt or a stupid attempt, Richard? Bit of both, I think, Dan. Core to bring it in. Shield claims the ball. Sends it on its way. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Deledio, he's really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. He kicks the ball. Coniglio gets the upper hand. Puts boot to ball. He takes a strong mark. Deledio gets a less than pretty drop cut away. By Roberts. Liberatore with no other option but to put it to the empty space. Tackle, but gets the handball off. He gets his hands on the footy, hits the running man. Dalhouse has the chance to add one more to his tackle. A goal for the Western Bulldogs. The Western Bulldogs take back the lead. Dalhouse got a really good footballing brain. Here we go. Simpson thumps it forward, gathers the ball, he gets his hands on the footy, with the ball now, he's really a ball magnet, the ball mopped up, Patton with a kick at goal, the goal eludes him, just right at the target, Greater Western Sydney manages to rack up another behind. He's searching for his teammates. Marks. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Griffin sends the ball on its way. Cameron in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. 50 minutes from home. A pretty safe bet from this position. Goes in long for goal and the distance affects his accuracy. Would you believe it? Another point.
strong mark there. He lines it up with the goal. Cameron with a strong mark. You'll need a long-range boomer from here. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. I must be real after that kick. Can you help me out, Richard? That was a terrible effort. Well, if behinds were goal, this team would be very rich by now. Taken by Hunter. Gets boot to high. He wins the contest. Wallace comes away with the ball. Ruffin bumped off the ball. Sends the ball to open space. Cordy drives the ball towards goal. And goes through for behind. Just a few points the difference. Core. He's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. That's a mark. Smith lines up. Smith takes a shot. He really had to make more of that. Yet another behind. Core waiting for the man to free up. Cordy has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. 60 meters out. Well, if you could hand pick a position, this is it. Straight in front of the goal. Marked by Ruffhead. They say you miss 100% of the shots you never take, so hopefully he can just shrug that one off. The goal eluding them each time. Core looking for a lead. Half time is just about to be called. Cranry has a great set of hands. Fantastic man. He kicks it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That puts them back in contention. The Western Bulldogs in front. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Ruffhead aims for his man on the ground. Ball up. Ball up cool. Big thumb from Simpson. And that's the end of the term with the Bulldogs. 30, Greater Western Sydney, 19. If the opposition get the early run on in the second half, the Giants will need to slow the game down and change the way they are playing. I'd expect they have a few options up their sleeve, like playing wide or not playing on. But they will need to implement that pretty well straight away. The Western Bulldogs are in the lead by 11, coming out for the second quarter. I'd expect the coach will be asking for more of the same in the second half, with a first half performance like that. The players have had a good break. They should be ready to bring this game home. What to do with a mistake? Recognize it, admit it, learn from it, then forget it. The umpire will ball it up. Guided down nicely by Ruffhead. Murphy sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Takes possession. Coniglio onto the ball. Going for goal number one. Galileo was so close with that kick, but it just goes through for a point. Morris has improved his hands to a point now that he can release players from tight pack situations. Green with the ball, he lines it up with the goal. Boyd with the catch. Not a pretty drop pump, but it gets away okay. Bumps the big skin. Strong mark. McCraig searches for the man downfield. He takes control of the loose ball. Cordy Kemp passes the ball to the runner going past. A lot of possessions for him. Griffin was taken hard. Goes up the line. No contest for that man. You'll need a long-range boomer from here. An ideal position to be kicking from. Cordy with a low spearing kick. Wilson looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Wilson will take every opportunity to take a screamer when a step ladder presents itself. Fontenpelli slams the ball to his boot. McRae, just the better man in that contest. Dalhouse gets the catch. 
contesting shot outside the 50. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. Haynes slams the ball to his boot. A rush hit. And the mark will be played. Distance could be the problem. Going for goal number one. He holds his breath. Plenty of shots are spoiled at the last moment by efforts to add just those few more metres. Another behind and another disappointment for the Western Bulldogs. Four really wears his heart on his sleeve. Dalhouse with good strong hands. Dalhouse goes for home. And the ball goes out of play. The ball is out of bounds. Sends the Sharon on its way. Wins the hard ball. Picked by Hunter. String it with the mark. Stringer kicks hard along the boundary line. Shield wins the marking contest. Shield has to stay committed. Then with a little bit of guts and determination, he should make something of his career. Sending it on its way. Dalhouse with the mark. Hastily kicked. Short grabs that one. Puts boot to ball. Strong mark by Hunter choose to kick it. The mark is taken by Shield. Shield kicks out along the boundary line. Hands like dinner plates. Kicks. Dalhouse from behind. The Western Bulldogs could just been so dominant in the marking contest and it's given them the perfect platform to kick a winning score. Wallace kicks it. Kennedy misses the ball. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Green has the ball. Green mops up the ball. Dalhouse intercepts it. He picks up the loose ball. Dalhouse gains possession. He gains possession. Wilson with the interception. Cordy put his head down, running for home. Tomlinson racking up the possessions. Handballs from the tackle. Kennedy kicks it. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That was the peg. Gets boot to high. The mark is taken by Cordy. Cordy feeds it wide. Great mark. They can drill that kick in. And Craig grabs that one. Shield with the ball. Squeezes out a handball. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alleyway. The ball in the hands of Bontempelli. He's running hot, Richard. He's been outstanding all match then. Intercept by Wilson. Tomlinson pummels him. He's chopped that one off. Smith. Smith. Almost, but not quite. Two goals the margin for the Bulldogs. Core assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. The contest, no match for him. The Giants have been able to take more marks out there, but most of these have been from playing possession footy. They need to start taking a few more risks out there. Sending it on its way. Bontempelli catches it. Jams it on the boot now. Hunter wins the marking contest. Kicks it. A good third quarter. What do you think, Richard? They call it the Premiership quarter, and the Western Bulldogs have made the most of their momentum well and truly swinging it their way. I can't wait to see if they can maintain it in the last. Where to Western Sydney trailing by 12. They have a lot to think about. But the Giants, the only way I see for them to overcome is to hang on. Let's take a brief look at the stats. The Western Bulldogs have 56 kicks on the board and the Giants have 46. Fairly close if you ask me. You could slip a bit of paper in between these two teams on the marking stats. They're really that close. Thank you very much, Richard.
final term has commenced. You can always rest easy knowing that you gave 100%, win or lose. There's players everywhere, but somehow he manages to send out the handball. That was off the ball. Squeezes on a handball. Bumps the big skin. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Quantum Pillar boots it. Spilled by Dalhouse. Right now he looks like a man in a darkened room trying to discover where all the furniture is. Shield is streaming past and gets the footy. He gets tackled as he hands it off. DeVort with the running catch. The ball picked up. The ball in the hands of Boyd. Takes possession. Hits the running man. Holding the ball. Wood got caught with his hands in the cookie jar. Johnson whacks one on the boot for goal. That shot wasn't meant to hit the fan. Ball over the boundary line. Into the game comes Suckling. Both Ruckman standing their ground. Liberatore with a big fist on it. Holding the ball. Out. Green has him for holding the ball. Going for goal number one. Almost, but not quite. Greater Western Sydney trailing by less than two goals. They're still in this. Great mark. Bicken feeling the pressure gets the quick kick away. Suckling kicks it. Liberatore running to catch that one. Surely that wasn't the plan, Richo. He just sprayed that one. He should have put more thought into that. GWS could have taken plenty of marks, but they haven't converted enough into goals. That's why they find themselves trailing. Liberatore puts his boot on it. He takes a strong mark. Wilson sends one up towards the wing. Good mark by Fontenpelli. Choose to kick it. Strong mark. Slams it on the boot. Shield the better man there. Choose to kick it. Green marks. Sending it on its way. A great mark under pressure. Kicks. Nice work from Quantum Pelly. Kicks it. A good mark under the circumstances. Chips it down towards half forward. Scoops up the ball. He was cooler than they say the proverbial penguins freezer. Bonton Pelly gets the ball. Takes control of the bouncing ball. He's really a ball magnet. And Craig misses very well. The Western Bulldogs just can't nail a goal. Two goals up for the Bulldogs. Craw will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Cordy grabs that one. 65 meters out. Almost in the bag from this position, you would think. Cordy feeds it wide. Haynes takes the mark. Haynes doesn't have the strongest marking hands in the league, but he's certainly very, very handy on the lead. He boots it. The mark will be paid. Bonton Pelly plays on with it. Dishes it off to the running player. Great move to be able to work into an uncontested position. McRae with the spill. Shield gets the bouncing ball. The umpire wants to ball it up. Cleared by Simpson. Ruffett just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. Johnson with an easy mark. Johnson has got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. Sending it on its way, the mark will be paid. He gets boot to the ball. Niglio, just the better man in that contest. Hastily kicked. Solid catch. Johnson boots it. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That is the peg. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. Liberatore with the mark. Sends it on its way. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. The Western Bulldogs for having shots for goal on the run rather than looking to hit targets inside 50. And why shouldn't they when they have so many quality kicks in the turn? Hunter puts his boot on it. That's a nice strong mark. Puts boot to goal. 40 with good strong hands. 
Chips it down towards half forward. Nice contested mark by Wilson. Looks like he had it there. Green with the mark. He plays on. Shoots off the handball. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Roughhead pan passes it. Dalhouse feeds it wide. Griffin takes the mark. Picks it. Well, he gave it a shot. Murphy has played a shock at. He's not a long jumper who can't reach the sand. Is in his possession. Nice bit of power there. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. The Western Bulldogs for having shots for goal on the run rather than looking to hit targets inside 50. And why shouldn't they? When they have so many quality kicks in the tank. Green plays on. He boots it. Griffin with the ball. Bumps the big skin. Almost a touch of synchronized swing about that mark. Is the pig. Sends the Sharon on its way. Solid catch. The Bulldogs have played some very good football indeed, and they've been rewarded with a win. Richard, what did you make of the final result? GWS could let what they cannot do interfere with what they can do, and the results speak for themselves. Hmm, that's big, Richard. scores are 33 to 21. That's all from us. Thanks for joining us and thank you, Richard. See you again next time. It's great being here, Dennis. I can't wait for the next match. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon.